Mm. Anyways, we've tangented to Ghibli. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes we have. Instead, yes, let's have. switch to Meta's topic. What do you What do you got, Meta? Well, Ghibli. Well, uh, I don't have <laughs> our uh, Ghibli I tier guess, list. Actually, you know, honestly, uh, the talk about having something good and bad is a pretty good uh, <laughs> a pretty good way of describing what I'm going to talk about. So, uh, obviously. Oh, uh, if you've been, you know, if you haven't been living under a rock, you're probably aware that like uh, more and more streaming services are coming out. More and more shows are being pulled away from Netflix to put on their own streaming service, which is a different topic all for a different day. But um, obviously Netflix has been kind of going into making their own uh, shows because, you know, they have to stay relevant and they've got plenty of money and lots of support. So uh, they decided to hook up with a uh, a crew in South Korea and they created a show called kingdom uh and i gotta say i enjoyed the shit out of it it was <laughs> absolutely a blast so kingdom is essentially um a historical fantasy horror slash thriller uh all over the place it's got like a lot of genres going for it um but it's kind of set back in the past when swords and swords and shields were really the 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 way of life and so to speak um but uh, currently, it's got a lot of inspiration for everywhere. There's definitely Game of Thrones vibes going on. Um, it's got some horror elements, which I'll get to in a bit here. And uh, obviously, because it's set you know, in a historical period, if you kind of like historical fantasy, that's definitely your kind of thing to do. Um, but to give you a breakdown, long story short, the king uh, is kind of maybe on the death throes of bed. Uh, his print, the prince isn't allowed to see him. The queen is saying, no, you can't go uh, to him. Uh, to go see him. They're not letting anybody see him. Uh, and it's causing some friction within the royal palace. Meanwhile, on the outskirts of town, a doctor returns home with uh, a uh, with the with the assistant that he had brought to go help the king in the first place. And that assistant is very much dead, which you'll see in the first, you know, 20 seconds of the first episode. So there's no spoiling on that. Very much dead. I promise. Um, he comes back. Well, turns out, long story short, he uh, gets uh, he unfortunately gets buried off, but um, the village is starving and one of the uh, members of the village kind of go off and uh, do some stuff, bring back um, some things. And uh, suddenly you have zombies. That's right. So that's pretty much the premise of it all. And it's pretty much um, what ends up happening is there's just a lot of going on in the background between uh, the political intrigue of trying to fight against this noble house while also dealing with this sudden zombie outbreak that's done uh, within the uh, territory and the land and trying to survive all of that um, while uh, figuring out who allies and enemies are uh, to keep uh, alive and keep going. And, uh, it's really well done. I would absolutely recommend it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I've seen uh, previews for this. It's, I remember it's thinking it was weird because it was Asian zombies. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So um, I, normally I wouldn't have been all that interested in it. Uh, I think I probably would have watched it more for the, the historical fantasy than anything else. But the zombies uh, are amazingly refreshing uh with how they've been you know kind of outdone in the 2000s and whatnot uh i honestly didn't expect much from it but the zombies are very refreshing there's they are still your classic zombies you bite somebody um they're infected and whatnot but the way these zombies work is a little bit differently they've got some new rules to apply to them <laughs> uh that give them a very much fresh they do run by the way they are runners uh they're not uh, the shambling type so there's always the intensity of them uh doing that they can be fought they can be beaten in a fight uh, but they are dangerous because they obviously just swarm you. And as long as they get one bite in, that's all you really need to win for the zombies. Uh, and it's really well done. So the, the zombies have a, a few set of rules um, to them. They are actually only active uh, at in certain uh, when certain criteria are met. Uh, they actually will not be out in uh, the sun. Uh, you kind of learn that very early on. They have um, some other rules that apply to them that I don't really want to talk about because I really do think a big part of the drama is under like learning all the other the other few rules that kind of play with the zombies, so to speak. Um, but they're uh, but it is there. It's very refreshing. Uh, they have some rules and limitations they have placed onto them, um, and the. Uh, the actors are actually really uh, do a really good job. Um, obviously, it's it's really hard to say. I don't really have any experience with them, but 
I'll say this much. I was captivated. They pulled me in. I was watching it and I was like, when's the... I didn't really want the episode to end. And they did, unfortunately, which speaking of, they run for about 43 minutes to 56 minutes per episode. I don't think any, I don't recall any of them going past like the, essentially the 43 marker on them, so to speak. But, uh, and it's possible if you count like the credits and whatnot, uh, that run through. How many episodes episode. is it? There are only six episodes. Oh, okay. Um, so you're probably, but you're definitely going to get essentially 12 episodes, like a regular season, 12 episodes length of time. Mm. Um, but does the story kind of finish at that point or no, the six episodes okay. end definitely on a cliffhanger. Um, they have already started production for season two. It was given the green light while season one wasn't even completed. That's how, uh, oh, wow. success- that's how like confident they, uh, they were given. And I think it was also due to the fact that they are actually are filming utilizing, uh, they're using, they're obviously they're on, like, you know, on live location, but they want to keep the seasons in mind as they're doing filming. And they didn't want to stop the season that they were on because the season that they're currently in is kind of a part of the story. So I'm likely sure that they, what they did is they say is that they, they convinced them that like, look, if we want to get a season two out, if you're really, if we, we think this is going to be good enough. We get a season two out here. We can do it in line with the current, uh, with the current actual, you know, real life season, and it should uh, look really good with the storyline because the way the storyline is moving is also kind of in tandem with the seasons as well. So, um, but the season two doesn't expect to be finished up until June, I think, uh, and recording. Um, so you will have to wait a little bit if you do get hooked, which is the the greatest downside, unfortunately. Um, but the cast, like I said, the cast is really well done. Uh, they are all very interesting characters. Um, they, it follows, I mean, if you're a lover of L5R, you're going to like this shit. So I would recommend it obviously to you three guys, if you like L5R mm-hmm. stuff, you're going to probably like this. Um, it, yeah, I didn't it even realize this had come out. Yeah. It's definitely got like vibes. If you're, if you like playing like a Shadowlands kind of campaign, this is definitely something up your alley. So, so that would, uh, kind of leads to my next question that I was going to ask. How similar are the zombies to Gongshi and um, uh, Zhangshi from Chinese and Korean mythology? Do you know? They're no, they're not. They're not very uh-huh. close to the uh, the Chinese Korean. Uh, not even, uh, not really even Japanese zombies. They they play more like Western zombies. Okay. They play very much more like that one, which is kind of it's kind of nice in, in a way. Um, it's unfortunate you don't get to learn about them, but. They're pretty lethal for what they are. They're uh they're pretty nasty. They definitely uh they 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 the rules are changed for them. Like um and like I said, I don't really want to give away on how they work. Um, but I, I guess I can say is like they do kind of take them to extreme points. They are uh, run, they do not tire out. Um the turning rate for an individual is very quick. Uh the moment you get bitten, you can drop and then like maybe less than uh ten seconds they can rise back up as a zombie. That's just how fast the turn rate is on it. Um, uh, they're, they are susceptible to a lot of things. They can be generally brought down, um, decently. I mean, they're playing, you're kind of playing with just, you know, a corpse that runs around and wants to bite people all the time. So there's not really much they have in the way of defense. (laughs) Um, they can be restrained. They can be held down. They're not physically stronger than a person. They're just very aggressive. And that kind of is what plays into them. And you'll, and you'll see, I mean, you'll see it when you watch, if you watch the episodes and one, you'll see that like, even though there's nothing really stronger about them, that aggressiveness is absolutely something to worry about because uh, I mean, they will lunge and launch themselves at people to get to them. So it's great. So even if like you think you're safe, that zombie can like climb over that wall and they will lunge at you to get to you. It's, it's awesome. Um, the scenes are always action and intense packed. So you're always getting something when those guys are moving around and whatnot. But even if they're not, like I said, there's the political intrigue side. There's always what's going on with the Empire, what's happening uh, with them, the uh, the recent lords and whatnot that are around the areas that are hearing about these air, uh, these outbreaks and what and, and the like. Uh, the crown prince trying to figure out what's going on while also trying to figure out what's happened to his father, uh, as well as kind of always being refuted. The... Um, that you've got like the uh the uh Daoist ministers essentially they're kind of um their their whole objective is they're trying to also kind of figure out what's going on but they're being hard uh they're kind of being hardballed by the current uh I guess the minister uh for the current uh kingdom and they're kind of being blocked by him or they're um being pushed against them you, you've got like a lot of things going on that are definitely not always the focus but definitely prominent and you feel it for it um the uh sound design is pretty good i i can't really say anything it's any special 
uh, but it's clear you kind of know what's always going on and whatnot. There's not really a lot of strong music for it. It really falls on like if you've if you've ever like if you've watched Game of Thrones and you've set, and you kind of like watch the scenes where they do this small council table and everything. It's almost it's always kind of like that. There's just always like a, a small amount of ambience in the background, the slightest amount, and it's mostly just characters talking and whatnot. But there are definitely scores in there that do a good job. So you never feel like. Everything's always intense when it needs to be. Everything's calm when it needs to be. Nothing is ever off-putting that pulls you out of the scene. You're always drawn into it, which it, to my, to me, I feel is not only a great uh, sense of direction um, for how the show is being done, but it is clearly that whoever was you know, doing this knew how to make sure that you were always focused where you needed to be, uh, whatever that scene is, might be trying to portray and convey to you. So, um, but yeah, it's a great show. Absolutely recommend it um go out and watch it it's gonna be having its second season soon um it is yeah i think netflix has uh their shorter seasons tend to have a much quicker turnaround on getting the season two or the yeah. next season in general unless you're a black mirror uh. no unless you're like that <laughs> yeah the only uh, I, will, I will say that the uh the uh <laughs> The show did have a, a crazy artist budget. Uh, each episode cost more than $1.78 million. Uh, they definitely overspent. They went over, but even going over, it apparently uh, it was really done. Um, the re- the re- I mean, the reception, if you don't, if you don't take like my word for it, the reception has been wonderful. They've mm-hmm. received an 89% approval on Rotten Tomatoes. They have an average rating out of like eight out of 10 based on the nine reviews. Um, there are other shows out there. There are other like review sites out there um, like uh, CNET and CBR. Uh, AMC also talks about it. They have definitely stated that um, they've all given the show praise. I don't think there's I, honestly there's not been any place that I've really seen that has like considered this show to be bad. If nothing else, it might just be OK to them, but I've never seen any reviews that are going out of the way to say the show is done poorly. And it's not, it just, it just shows you will see it. And the first scene is enough to, it was enough to draw me in. He's like, I know this is going to be a good series. That's just how <laughs> confident I was. And I wasn't wrong. It was great. Uh, well, you'll love it. I'm definitely interested. Uh, looking through the pictures. I have now learned that Korea has a sword that looks like a katana. Yes, they do. That. They, uh, <laughs> they, they definitely have like swords that look like the, katana. The Hondo uh, apparently, yes. uh, is a bit shorter than a katana and uh, are crafted a different crafting process, but looks very similar to a katana. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, if you're, it's like I said, if you're a fan of Avatar, you'll love this. If you're a fan of historical <laughs> fantasy, you're gonna love this. If you like horrors, uh, you're gonna love this. It's got a little bit of everything. I wonder what really what do you know what when it's what the year actually is supposed to be? Uh I think it's supposed to be like in. Because, like, the stuff I could see on it, it's like, it takes place in the Juseon period, which is basically 1400 to 1900. I'm like, that's a big gap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing they they do have firearms, so yeah. it's likely around the 1600 period to the 1800 period. But I'm, I'm gathering it's probably around the 1600, maybe even 1500. Okay. I doubt that, though. I so you're probably curious. looking at the 16s, the 17s. So they do have uh, firearms. I don't remember. They That's do have firearms. Not. They do exist. So that tells you that uh, the Portuguese definitely came over to trade with them. <laughs> Which could be even earlier than Japan, right? Because they were pretty late adapters. Yeah, Japan was pretty uh, late adapters. I mean, for, well, well maybe. The, the, the same groups, the same Portuguese that were trading with Japan before Japan really went off, they also were trading with China. So maybe, or, uh, well, China, yes, but uh, Korea. So yeah, maybe early 1600s, late 1500s, maybe? Yeah, like I said, I'm 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 personally saying I think it's probably around the 1600s. Uh, that's that's my guesstimate. They might actually show in in the season. I don't remember. I just don't remember that ever. I don't remember if it ever came up. And honestly, it's been a while since I watched this back like in February, January. Yeah, I, I watched oh, okay. this back in February. So it's actually been on the back burner for a little bit. I meant to talk about it earlier. It's just it never came up. I just never thought about utilizing it, which is kind of stupid on my part, but. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's absolutely. Ah, uh, yes. It looks like they got. Oh wow, Korea had guns as early as the 1400s. There you go. Hmm. Then, yeah. So yeah, go watch it. Absolutely recommend. I'm gonna start it. watching it tonight. 
Yeah, I would totally. I it's didn't good. catch that it was on there. Yeah, it's good. Absolutely Neat. recommend it. Uh, and uh, it's it's. I mean, it was. I was when I went into it. Uh, I had only seen something to talk about, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, somebody's saying that it's pretty decent. I'll check it out. And then, uh, man, oh man, I was very happy to see the series. 